And just unwelcome news tonight, a food packaging company is shutting its plant down in Kentwood, eventually leaving 260 people without jobs. 24-Hour News ace Tom Hillen broke the news about Conagra at 5. New tonight, he's talking with the mayor of Kentwood to see what this means for the city. Well, Marley, the city of Kentwood gave Conagra a tax break when they moved here back in 2010. So the big question tonight is how much money the city will get back. We know that they fell short of their, of their commitment and promise. And so it is our 100% expectation that we will be made whole from that uh, agreement and uh, their lack of uh, fulfilling their agreement. Conagra came to West Michigan in 2010 when it bought Elan Nutrition along 44th Street. At the time, the city and the state, along with economic development group The Right Place, worked together to get the company a tax incentive package worth about $9 million with the promise to add jobs. But now, less than four years later, the company is closing its doors before it fulfills the agreements it made with the city to get those tax credits. Now the city has to crunch numbers to see how much it should get back. We know that they um, bought the company for about $72 million. We know that they have invested about $40 million. What does that represent with tax credits and tax abatements? We'll probably have a, a better answer tomorrow once we get through that type of detail. Mayor Kepley was told by company officials that the plant in Kentwood was only operating at about 30%. While Kepley says this is unfortunate news for the city and the 260 employees that will eventually lose their jobs, he believes it's not a sign of things to come. We have a demand for facilities just like this, and my expectation is that facility will be filled and those employees will find new opportunities um, here in Kentwood and West Michigan. Well, those jobs will be cut over the next year or so. Now, ConAgra did send us a statement tonight saying that it will attempt to help those workers find jobs. Live in Kentwood, Tom Hill in 24-Hour News 8.